Hey, hey, what's going on, Legends? It's your boy, Rowan, and I am back. I'm back with a vengeance, and right now we are looking at a failed FTMO challenge. Now, why do you think I'm showing you a failed FTMO challenge? Well, long story short, it's not about the failed challenge. It's about the robot that, uh, that traded it. Now, even though the robot... You know, we didn't pass the challenge. Look at this beautiful, you know, not beautiful, but it's it's not bad, right? If we have a look, it went from zero to $320 in eight days. Eight trading days from a, a $10,000 account. And the robot that did this uh, was called Black Dragon. And I was using Black Dragon version 8. Now, the reason why I want to talk about uh, FTMO quickly is that it's, you know, I'm, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that, but uh, for those that do not have uh, enough trading capital and can prove that they can trade in a safe manner, um, FTMO is one of the many uh, providers that uh, will provide you with um, capital to trade with. And they take, obviously, a cut, but, um, you know, it, it does help. Uh, so the goal is is to uh, uh, well I've, I'm trying with ten thousand and and there are other limits if you want to jump on uh, ftmo.com you can have a look for yourself but um, yeah I just wanted to talk about the robot and how it traded uh, now I let it trade for eight trading days we can see here uh, it traded for eight days um, its max daily loss was one hundred and eighty dollars in the negative its max loss was one hundred and twenty four dollars out of a thousand so it passed all those beautifully however uh, it just wasn't aggressive enough now that's not a bad thing uh, just think about this being a live account in eight days you made 800 uh, not 800 <laughs> you made 325 dollars and your max drawdown was probably about 180 bucks uh, on a 10k account that's really good return for risk right and, and these are all the trades, or some of the trades, uh, the last trades that it took. Uh, daily summary. Its average loss was uh, negative $7.64. Average profit was $17.59. Average re uh, reward risk ratio was 2.3. Expectancy, um, there you have it there, was $10.86. And the win rate and profit factor uh, we've got all that there. So the higher the profit factor, the better. So basically, if the profit factor is above one, the trading system indicates profitability. In this case, it's 6.33. So all I did was trade um, Euro USD, Pound USD, and Gold uh, very concerted, conservatively. And uh, we can see here that most of the trades are green. There are some negative ones. Uh, because this robot can use MartinGo, you can turn it off and on if you want. Um, as you can see here, um, I did have MartinGo turned on, but it was trading uh, fairly, uh, I would say, um, risk not risk-free, but, but with quite low risk. Uh, now, that um, that just I just wanted to have a chat about FTMO and how the robot's done, because you know, I haven't really showed any of you uh, any of the FTMO challenges that I do, uh, but the goal is is um, obviously to get funded by FTMO and use their money uh, to trade with and, and get that money back, and if I could do that automatically, that would be absolutely awesome, and if I could show you all how to do that, uh, that is actually the goal for me, but a uh, long way to go, and uh, yeah, I'll I've got uh, a few other things to show you all, so what I'll do is I'll get off this screen and I'll go over to the laptop and I'll show how the robots have been going over the past month because it has been a while since I've updated you all uh, with video, but we'll see what has been happening and I'll have a quick chat about um, what changes I'll be making to the robots in the future. So I'll see you over there in a shortly. Radio, we are back at the laptop where we have some of the robots still trading. I've got some of them, we've got some new ones we're going to have a look at. Euroscar uh not Euroscarper, FX Stabilizer is still trading. Uh, we're trying different settings, we're going to see how it's going. You can see the results here a little bit. 
Uh, then we have SmartFX Ultimate Scalper, which has been going uh, for about a month, and it has made $215. Not sure what the drawdown is on this thing. Uh, it's probably not a very reliable because this laptop hasn't been on 24-5. Uh, sometimes it does get turned off. Uh, not because of me, but because it, the thing just shuts down. Uh, then we have Euroscalper, which uh, was probably, you know, it was the most profitable robot that I've had. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's blown the account quite a few times. And uh, right now it is still trading. Uh, pound, USD, Euro, USD and gold. Now, I'm actually interested to see, <laughs> and this would be insane uh, for this computer. I'm thinking about trading Euroscalper, possibly 28 pairs, maybe a bit higher time frame like M15, and changing the settings a bit to have a wider, um, wider distance between each order, and not having the lot multiplier at 1.71, probably like 1.1, and we'll see how it goes because um, you know it has been a really good robot, but it just blows up. Uh, it just gets into trouble really, really quick, and the the reasoning for that is because the lot multiplier is too high, and the step is too tight. Averaging I played with, it didn't do too much. Uh, when you back test with averaging, um, it didn't change it enough for me to want to change it to two. Uh, I tried with all the values from one to ten, um, and one and two were probably the most used averaging, but I didn't try like 0 0.1 to 1, so I haven't tried them when I backtest it. Uh, max trades, leave it on 12, equity stop, you can use that if you want. Um, if you just want it to trade like Asian or London or US sessions, you change this open and close out to those sessions. Uh, that is all up to you. But, you know, it has been, you know, it's proven itself to be a quite a profitable robot and I think uh, maybe the strategy for Euroscalper would be to um, you'd probably need a big account though but start off with like a thousand let it make a thousand and then pull that thousand out as quick as possible so it's not financial advice by any means but that would probably be a good idea for Euroscalper is to always withdraw your profits uh, and don't let them in there to compound uh, even though it's really, really tempting to do that, and I've done that quite a few times myself, and had the account wiped out without realizing any profits, and it really, really hurts uh, when that happens. But anyway, uh, I've babbled on about Euroscapital enough. Let's have a look at something else here. Uh, EA Black Dragon, which is the robot that I actually um, wanted to talk to you all about. So this is Black Dragon V8. Uh, as you can see here, it has made $359 this year. This is by this year means uh, from January the 1st and uh, it didn't make any money yesterday because yesterday was Sunday uh, Saturday or well, I guess Saturday it made $30 because um, you know I'm in Australia and the markets close at about 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning so I guess it counts uh, <laughs> uh, it counts the 17th as being a trading day and today it's made $14. We're currently in a trade on a buy with EURUSD. EURUSD is um, currently going down at the moment. We can have a quick look here though at what it's up to. And we can see here that it had some open trades down, 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 and then it's come back up and it's closed at $13.96. Uh, I did, it didn't, this laptop didn't trade the whole morning session. I only just opened it up tonight. Uh, the reason being is that I was flat out this morning uh, at work uh, to get to work early, and uh, anyway, it's a bank holiday in the U.S. anyway, so the markets are flat right now. Even though we do have uh, bits going on with Russia and Ukraine, uh, which we'll see what happens with gold. But yeah, I've only been trading two currency pairs, uh, GU and EU, and it's it's doing really really well for the week or for the month. Uh, being that it's the 21st today, uh, it's made $192, so I'm really, really impressed with how Black Dragon is going. This is the exact same one that I am trading uh, on the FTMO Challenge. Uh, maybe a little bit different 
settings, I'm actually going to have a look at the auto lot size because it probably needs to be changed um, to be a bit more aggressive for FTMO because you know a bigger account. Uh, but it has been going quite well. We've we've you know made fourteen dollars today. That's uh, pretty good, and uh, for the year three hundred fifty nine. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's going. I'd like to uh, play with some different pairs. I have tried US 30 with it, with some amazing results, uh, but it's very, very aggressive and you need quite a big account. So it's probably more suited to like a cent account or someone with a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, US 30 can move really, really quick. It's pretty scary, but some other indices would actually be quite good to trade with this as well. Right, uh, EA Golden Elephant. Uh, I don't really have much to really say about it. Um, it hasn't done anything today because it hasn't had any trades open until you know I opened the laptop up. But we can see what it's done in the last month, though. Uh, there are some positive things here. So it's made $582, which is really, really good. Uh, just this last month alone. So wh when did it start? Uh, the twelfth of the first, right? So it's not um, it's not from the start of the month. It's going back to there, but which is interesting when you use account history on M uh, MT4. <laughs> anyway, right? Uh, Vision Scalp of V6. I stopped because um, it just wasn't performing as well as I thought it would. So, but um, you know, from a thousand, it made five hundred bucks. Really, really, you know, it's quite slow. But I found out it was uh, getting into more drawdown than uh, Vision Scalper 5.5, so stop six. Golden Moon blew the account, which I thought it would because it was doing insane lots. Uh, currently has an open order. Uh, good luck to it. Next one is PGM RCA. It blew the account as well. It was doing crazy lots. Let's have a look at that just to show you. I think not. Not so much crazy. Oh, it doesn't even have anything for this month. There you go. I don't think I traded it the last month. Our oh, PGM, here we go. Uh, 10 lots. Oh, not 10 lots. 0 0.1 lots. Yeah, so what happened with this, I think it's an EA that needs to be open, you know, definitely 24-5. I thought I saw a massive, massive trade just before. Here he is, <laughs> 275. Yeah, right. So yeah, don't know, don't know about PGM Master. I might give it another crack. Um, but the lot size just got pretty big and out of control. Like yeah, it stopped out. That's because I had it on gold though. So I might give it another crack. I'll remove gold. Uh, give PGM Master a go with maybe two pairs. And we'll see what happens because you know it was interesting. And um, yeah, last but not least, we've got Vision Scalp of 5.5, and it has been trading really, really well. The drawdown has been very low. Uh, it's saying max DD here is 129, which is I think is quite low for almost a $2,000 account. Um, this has made almost a thousand dollars since I started this again. Now it is saying negative. $41 there, which is correct, because I uh, put another thousand dollars in, so it's going off like deposits versus how much balance it has, so it is right. Uh, to, you know, we started it with Alpha GI, and then we've got Vision Scalper here. If we go back to here, uh, a thousand. I put a thousand in on the seventeenth of the tenth. Now the eighteenth of the tenth. I'll I'll start it on the nineteenth because sometimes it's a bit silly. Twenty twenty one, ten, and we'll go nineteen. We'll see if this changes. Right there we go. So profits nine hundred and fifty eight dollars since I started this robot. Pretty much. Um, that max drawdown is not correct. I don't know exactly what the max drawdown is, but uh, what I am thinking of doing is uh, hooking basically these accounts up to 
uh, MQL5 and it does give you a really good, um, even though you won't be able to trade from them like signals or anything like that, it gives you a really good breakdown of all the trades, um, it does calculate the drawdown, uh, all of that kind of stuff. It's free, doesn't cost me anything, um, I find it to be um, easier for me to share the link with you all as well. Uh, to that trading system so you can check it out look at all the trades and all that kind of stuff the only thing is I think you need to be logged into MQL5 which I think most of you will have a login anyway if you're buying uh, robots off the marketplace or whatever so that pretty much rounds up this video I do have uh, a crypto video coming out soon as well I'll do that one soon uh, that will be on three commas and uh, we'll be talking about Binance and FTX so if you're after some crypto content that will be coming out soon as well but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next awesome video bye bye